I'm gonna do the 100 heads challenge in my new sketchbook. We're gonna fill the first pages of this sketchbook with 100 heads. I, I think I'm gonna be done like in half an hour. Not done and finished, I'm done and I want to cry. I prepared 100 heads on Pinterest. I didn't prepare them, I just saved them. <laughs> From what? From everything. So I want to challenge myself additionally. Because 100 heads aren't, aren't enough. I just want to stop the time, I want to know how much time it takes for me to draw 100 heads. I'm not, I'm not a professional. I don't know if I'm even more than a beginner. I don't think so. <laughs> so it's pretty interesting to me how long it's gonna take to draw 100 heads to me, for me. Jokes on me again. I couldn't manage to set a timer every time I draw some heads. It took me about 15 to 25 minutes per head. So when we do our math, it took me a lot of time. So I'm gonna put on a timer. I will stop it if I'm gonna take breaks. Because I need breaks, I can't draw 100 heads in one session. Nobody can. If you're gonna do this in one no. No. Care for yourself. You need to drink, you need to eat, you need to go to the toilet. You need to sleep, you need breaks. Stand up. Do something for your body. Move. Don't you dare draw 100 heads without any breaks. I'm gonna start with just pencil drawings. Maybe I will do something else later. Um, as maybe everyone knows, heads are just circles. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I can't concentrate on, on talking and drawing at the same time. So I'm taking over the speaking from here. Hi, it's me, voice over Liz from the future. My start with this challenge wasn't very glamorous because I didn't notice that I've drawn at the starting paper of the sketchbook instead of the paper that was meant to be drawn on. But it is what it is. I continued, because tiny mistakes happen and the other pages will be fine. <coughs> Until my iPad fell over and bent the second page. At this point I thought the sketchbook was cursed. Well at least that's what sketchbooks are for. You can ruin your work peacefully, no consequences, many regrets. I decided to just continue by drawing with a marker. And a new expensive sketchbook lets the marker bleed through. And that was the last straw. This sketchbook and this challenge is cursed. So let me just real quick. That should do it. 
The next pages finally felt like I'm actually doing a challenge. The only incidents that happened were some skill issues, but that's why we're doing this. The 100 heads challenge began with Ahmed al Duri, who wanted to improve his range in drawing heads and his sense of composition in drawing heads. He says we have 10 days to finish this challenge. <laughs> Never, ever, ever! I am a burnt out, mentally ill person. The last thing I tolerate right now is stress. <laughs> Jokes on me again, I can stress myself out with everything. I think it is good to do challenges, but you really need to check on yourself if you're capable of it. Or if not, change the rules so the challenge fits you. For example, I decided which heads I'm drawing, I decided to take my time and I decided to finish 100 heads. But I didn't set a time for me. I wanted to set a timer, but <laughs> we don't. <laughs> and even if this means it will take me 4 weeks. It did take me 4 weeks. There is no shame in not being able to do what others do. 100 heads in 10 days? That's insane to me. I wish I could. But it would cost me too much. It's similar to sports. Don't push too far and listen to your body's signals. You can push through some pain, but there is a limit you should listen to. And I'm not being lazy. I am that person who ignored limits and signals. Don't overwork yourself. Listen to your mom. After talking so much about my mental state, I also want to talk about what I'm even doing in this challenge. I wanted to try out as many mediums as possible. And it was a lot of fun trying out something new and other than just pencil drawings. And this worked great for me. Not the spilled ink though. Was I still cursed? Well, it didn't ruin the sketchbook, so we are safe. For this video I decided to skip a lot of the drawing processes. Processes? Processes. So I can focus more on showing you the finished heads. But I've recorded all the processes, <laughs> so I will upload them separately as shorts, TikToks and reels. Yes, 100 vertical videos, maybe a lot of videos, but I put so much work in this and I want to share it with all of you. Especially I want to share some struggles and some key moments with this challenge for every head. And yes, I had many thoughts on every single head. This was a very interesting experience for me. Around this time I was already so done with this challenge. It was so exhausting and... And I spilled again, oh my gosh. And I wanted to quit. I was so sick and tired of looking at faces and drawing them. <laughs> I mean I'm already uncomfortable looking at a person, a real life person who was talking to me. And now imagine the pain of analyzing 100 different faces when you simply are uncomfortable looking at faces. Not this face though. Not this face. <laughs> Did you already know that I'm, I was super excited for Tears of the Kingdom? I bet you know. I bet you know. If you're following me, you know. And I am obsessed. I am so obsessed with this game. And I'm pretty proud of me that I'm still managing to do this video instead of binge gaming this game. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, my king, I love you. Did I say it out loud? Oh my god. I was a little tired of looking at human faces, so I had to do some fictional characters. Characters I love. Especially the Legend of Zelda characters. I could talk about this game for hours, so I did this in my last video, so head over and watch this video. <laughs> Oftentimes I got a little too tired of drawing without noticing, but my heads were clearly showing this. Dwight. And then I had the brilliant idea of drawing some famous paintings. Uh, <laughs> don't look. <laughs> Look at my pencils instead. <laughs> I already I already hear my mom commenting on this and telling me that nobody can draw the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was so frustrated that I only was able to finish about three to five heads a day. Like why? I was I, I love drawing, but it was way too much for me and ten heads per day is just not possible. Was not possible. Have you ever wondered how it's Black Friday looks like without her iconic makeup? Here you go. <laughs> it was so much fun putting on the makeup on the people here. It felt like my childhood when I was I was playing some dress up games or those makeup games in the internet. <laughs> it's fun. I also wanted to put some like more famous faces into this challenge just for me to see if you would recognize them. And I really hope you don't recognize this person because I did her very dirty. I it's cursed. I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and here again you can see how tired I got because I couldn't I couldn't manage to do clean lines and be patient enough to finish a face. So it's like wobbly and very unproportional and I knew I could do better but I, I was too tired for this and here you can see this was the next day <laughs> it's it's getting better again when I was a teenager I used to just draw I didn't think about it too much it was just drawing for me and now a decade later I put so much more meaning into every line not like meaning in I want to have some interpretation here. I meant to draw every single line. And when I get tired, I'm I'm, I'm 16 again. So, yeah. And I haven't mentioned yet, I love this blue pen, pencil. I th yeah, it's a pencil. <laughs> I I just love it. It's so cute and it has like so much character. Even though it breaks a lot, but still, it's cool. The new sketchbook gave me a little bit of a hard time. The paper is thick, it's nice, I think I could use watercolors on it, but it also takes so much damage pretty quickly. For example, when I'm not drawing in the right angle, I step the page and I really cannot use my eraser cause the paper will lose a layer, like a top layer. It's so stable and fragile at the same time. I try to draw as many different faces as possible, especially different expressions, as you can see here. And this was way harder than I thought. Because it's not only the mouth or the eyes, it's like the whole face is um, it's like different than <laughs> in a resting state. You are deformed, I am deformed, and you are ugly. There was there was always playing in my head when <laughs> something was deformed. Ah For those two pages I was kinda lazy and just used pencil drawings, but I think that's cool. Just having two pages completely dedicated for the mechanical pencil and it got some character here. And here again, expression drawings, it's so difficult, especially when you're drawing a mouth with teeth. It just, it just looks creepy, it just looks creepy. And we're back at the famous faces again. Put your guesses into the comments below. I think I did a pretty good job, it, it became more similar to the people, my drawings. Not exactly like the people. She's watching me, but in comparison to like one year ago, you clearly can see that there is a similarity. I will show you a different example later. And here are more pencil drawings. This is getting a little bit boring right now, I'm sorry, but the next phases are, are gonna be way more interesting and better, especially because I, I start to draw characters again that I like and maybe you know and look it's Cora it's I'm, I'm, 
I promise to you, it will get better. <laughs> the strongest avatar in the avatar universe. <laughs> After Kiyoshi, of course. And again, here are some of my favorite characters. I try to make them a little look a little bit more like a real person, but this is so hard to get this cartoony look out of the, of the out of the characters. But I loved rendering uh, Widowmaker here. It was so much fun. It was a lot of rendering, but it was so much detail to do, and I love it. I love it. And now we're putting some makeup on and head number 77 is finished. What? After 76 comes 70... Okay. <laughs> I didn't notice until the next morning, but the good thing was that I could draw head 77 right after this faux pas. And nobody would have noticed if I hadn't said something. And again, expression drawings. It got a little bit better than the last one. But still, it's so, it's so deformed, so I kept drawing resting faces or smiling faces, but not laughing or screaming or something else. Which is a little bit sad, but still. Drawing different angles of the heads was also pretty challenging to me. And now that I'm looking at all the drawings, I see so many distortions. And here is the great example of me drawing famous people and they're actually looking like the person I meant to draw. <laughs> Especially when my very first attempt in drawing Lady Gaga was this. Um, yeah, just a moment of silence now. And here, one of my favorite artists with my favorite pencil. Yeah, the proportions weren't good, but I think she looks cute there. And another singer I really, really love, but she doesn't look like herself on this drawing. This is supposed to be Amy Lee. Um, I don't know, it, <laughs> it feels like I drew a different face. I don't know what, what happened there. <laughs> And another very important person for me, who I follow since I was 15 or so. And I'm still watching his videos nearly every day. It's just like, it's like a tradition for me to have dinner and watch his videos. <laughs> but this time I already got so impatient, it physically hurt to draw heads. I didn't want to do this anymore. The last 15 heads took me so much time to finish. I spent more time drawing them in comparison to the first 85 heads, which was actually cool because that meant that I was in fact getting better in drawing heads and I ne knew what I needed to focus on. And then I also got this thing where I really procrastinate and finish things. I do this to books, series, practicing, the piano for example, and so on. And I had to motivate myself to push through so hard. This was super exhausting. <laughs> Even though I had only one condition to fulfill and that was finish 100 heads. No other rules. And here we are, the last 10 heads. I am so excited for this. I was getting better and better with every head and the fear of doing mistakes was gone by the end of this challenge. It felt like I knew what I was doing. I feel more and more secure in drawing heads and even if I had to draw a head without any reference and the outcome would look ugly as fuck, I don't think it would bother me so much because I learned how to become better through this experience. I had to become less fearful of the wrong lines. Every time I started to think about the drawing too much, I ruined the drawing. Well, not ruined, but the outcome was not the way I expected it to be. And in the end, it doesn't matter where the eyes are, the mouth are, because you're practicing and you have to adapt your practice to the skill level you want to achieve. You don't have to learn hyperrealism or realism at all if you don't want to. And now we are coming to an end. The last six heads. Just let's take a sip with me. Ah. 
I got so impatient. I, I was so done, I was like, I need to finish the six heads in one day. And I didn't mention, I was able to draw 10 heads per day for two days. But then it was, my energy was so low, I couldn't do this on other days. But still, six heads in one day was so much for me. But I didn't let this discourage me and I also stick with my idea I wanted to do because I could have done just pencil drawings for the last ones but I really 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 wanted to just combine some skills I learned throughout this challenge for the last few heads and I really wanted to use colored pencils again I wanted to have like different shadings different styles involved and yeah I did this and I really love this drawing very much. It's so cute. And to be honest, I thought drawing 100 heads will be the most challenging part of this video. But editing and doing a voice over is so much more exhausting right now for me. Or maybe it's just it's just because I am in a situation right now. It's so exhausting. I don't want to do this anymore. But you see, it's nearly the end of the video and my brain goes like, just just quit doing this. Don't stop it. Just don't do it. We don't need to finish. Jokes on you, brain. I will push through. Ah! My favorite part of this challenge was trying out all the different mediums and realizing that I was in fact getting better in drawing heads. I never would have thought that would happen so fast for me. <laughs> Yeah, this head was a lazy head for me, but but I love this blue pencil. You you can't you can't judge me for this. <laughs> and I'm also very impressed that the ink pens that I have I bought like last year for Halloween for the Inktober that they still last. They I don't know, I, I drew so much with them, but still they're they're lasting. They're not drying out and I'm very impressed by them. <laughs> And I'm so impatient and excited for this because it's like I never thought I would finish this challenge. I really thought I will I will quit. And now I'm I, I was drawing head 99 and I'm now at head 100. And I know it looks like Freddie Mercury. It is not. It's someone else. 100. After I wrote down the number 100, I could not believe it was over. I was sitting in my chair in disbelief and when it finally hit me, I jumped and did a happy dance. <laughs> if you want to see all the reference photos I used, I put a link into the description for you. It has 99 pins, but trust me, it is 100 heads. <laughs> I am still in disbelief I finished this challenge and I started my new sketchbook with 100 heads. How crazy is that? And have you noticed how my nail polish changed over the time? <laughs> if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, comment and watch my other videos. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.